Marsha then. All right, can you hear us now? Can you hear it? There's no microphones, I took it off. Okay, so I'll take mine off too. Take three. All right, okay. No sound, no sound at all. Yep. Wait. They're hearing it now. Okay, so you're gonna have to talk really loud. Okay, but you need to talk a little I'll softer. I'll talk softer. Now. Okay, sorry, we do have these wonderful speakers. Let's take her ears off so we're not tethered up. So, when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. <laughs> so here we are, just with the speakers on the phone. So hopefully this will work. Susie will kind of give us a thumbs up, thumbs down if it doesn't. But anyways, Dreams don't work unless you do, and that is what the staff here at Pine Needles Quilt and Sew in Rochester, Minnesota has been doing this last week and these last couple days. As you know, our last day open was on Saturday, so here we are on Wednesday. Um, we have been working very hard, but we wanted, as promised, we told you that we would take you along on the ride to the new store with us. So we are looking at the it's the darkest before the dawn. This is the mess that we have to deal with. So I'm going to have Joy kind of go around the room here. It kind of looks like one of those um, disaster areas. Well, sometimes my sewing room looks a bit like this. No, not quite like this. All right, I'm gonna try and stay pretty close to Joy so that you can hear, and hopefully this works. I think Susie will let us know. So we're gonna come around through the old store, the one that is now closed, so you can take one last glimpse at it. So look how empty it is. So I'm gonna do a little pan here, Marsha. Okay. We're not talking right now, Mary, so give us a moment. You okay, know, there okay. are moments of silence. Right. Hopefully it's working now. And this is what it looks like now. So I'm just going to walk backwards all the way up to the front. We're going to go out the front door and into the new shop as it is. Do we need FEMA? Yeah, we maybe do need FEMA. We probably do. It's been crazy, and thank you so much. I mean, gosh, we had so much stuff um, sold during our, um, there's Rarda. <laughs> All right, hang tight, ladies. We're gonna go for a fast walk yep, so that you outside. have less bounce. And it is a beautiful day here in Rochester, Minnesota. We, we've made a lot of progress since the last time that we showed you inside here. So it's kind of exciting. As you can see, we still have a lot of things left to do. We still have a lot of things. Here we go. Follow me. All right. It's starting to look like something. Here's our wonderful Bernina fan baby lock area. Now we've got a lot of work yet to do, but it's coming along nicely. So let's keep going back this way, Joy. Oh, maybe let's pan over here. Isn't that pretty? So we kind of have one side for machines and the other side is fabric. We have a long ways to go, but we're getting there. They're saying it's beautiful, Marsha. It is beautiful and we have this wonderful place where your fabrics will be cut and you'll check out at the same time. This is going to be very much more efficient than we were before. And we come back this way. And here is our kit cutting area and also our mail where we'll be doing all of our mail orders. And if everybody, if you want to, everybody wave hi. She's I'm going to. I'm going to pan around. Everybody is working hard getting things set up for you. All right, I'm going to come around slowly All to right. keep people from getting sick. So I think that's enough of a glimpse for now. We're not going to go way into the back room right now because there's a lot of activities happening right there. So I think we'll put it on the tripod now. All right, and, and then we will have to. Us. Yep. So I'm going to come back around here. 
Marcia, you go ahead and take a seat. I will. So they love, love, love it. Good. And Eat a lot of them are like commenting and sharing, which is good. Yes. Okay, like I said, this is kind of an abbreviated version today because because we are just a little bit um, disheveled. We are disheveled, and we're having a little technical here. difficulty here. We're so a lot of technical difficulties, <laughs> but that's okay. Okay, well, there's a rotate issue here. All right, so just hang on here because you're gonna. And are we making you dizzy yet? All right, all right, everybody, hold tight while I lower Marcia down here because she. Is... I need to be lower. You are just your head, and we can't see anything. Okay. You can keep talking. Though. Okay. Anyways, we have just a few fun things because you know we always have fun things happening, and just because we're moving in this uh, moving at the time doesn't mean the whole world stops. Um, we are continuing on with lots of fun things that we have that are going to happen with you. And Joy can take a seat here. All right. So. Wow. Well, now I do apologize because now the sound we're not mic'd up the sound is just coming from the camera so we're doing as good as we can next week we're going to be in our new filming studio next Wednesday and it might not be totally set up either but it's going to be marvelous <laughs> yes we're excited will. about that and we'll have really good sound so we're doing the best we can today so thank you so very much for um, your patience and bearing with us here this is bothering me Okay, so let's get started. It's Marsha and Joy Show here in Rochester, Minnesota. Um, thank you so much for kicking off the second half of your week here with us today. It's an exciting day. And to start the whole thing off here, and this normal part, yes, will be the joke of the week. But not a knock knock joke. Not this a week. Knock -knock. We did. We're we, gonna have to wait a bit. We on did. That we one. did do really bad on that. We, we need a okay. much, much more practice on knock knock jokes. Okay. So um, this month um, we are doing all cow jokes in honor of Susie, who loves the cows and has cows at her house. So Joy. Yes, Marcia. What happens when a cow jumps over a barbed wire fence? What happens when a cow jumps over a barbed wire fence? Utter destruction! Oh, Yay! No. Kind of like our other stores, <laughs> utter destruction. Yes, it is. We're used to utter destruction. I think she right picked now. that one on purpose. <laughs> All right. Just a couple of things I want to talk to you about is um, the goings on of the store. We got some kind of bad news this morning. Um, our phones are being disconnected today, so there will not be any phones. And even though the world has known we're going to move, Charter doesn't have any openings for uh, to hook up our phones until next Thursday. Wow, a whole week, right? I don't Marcia? like it at all. Well, a week from tomorrow. Now, Susie did her best talking with them that if anybody else cancels, um, we will get our phones rehooked up. So for a week, we are asking you to email us info at pnqs.net. Susie will put these things in the comments below and then also tech at pnqs.net. We're still going to be here five days a week um, this week and next week and you may make appointments to drop your machines off for service you may make appointments to pick up your machines after they've been serviced, but we have to communicate now by emails. So those two will get you action. We check them several times a day. So just so you know, no phones. However, as soon as the phones are hooked up, I'm gonna let you know on Facebook, and we will start answering the phones here in the new store from 10 to three each day. So. Um, you're gonna have to bear with us be patient we're doing our best uh, it's we are closed but we do want to service all of your needs and do remember that um, the online store is open 24 7 joy is still mailing things out daily and um, we have curbside pickup as well 
Now, for those of you that might want a machine, um, info at pnqs.net. If you want to come in, we'll make an appointment. And Joy or one of the other gals can sit down with you um, to select a machine because we have we laid in a plenty good supply of those. We did in our new um, in our new warehouse, which right? is really fun. So, um, any other questions or things that you have? Info at pnqs.net. Now, we have a sneak peek of something very special here. What are we sneak peeking? Well, this quilt. You can open the quilt up. Ooh. And this just came to us this morning, and I just had to share it with you. I haven't even seen it no. yet. No. This is Annie's Quilting, and this is a new book. So we just ordered these books. This is Annie's Quilting, and it's called Peace Flower Quilt. And this is a beautiful quilt made with a blooming bunch. Oh. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. And this also is by Joe's Country Junction. It's uh, Joe Kramer and Kelly Hinken. They live down across the Iowa border. They designed this quilt and it's featured in this book and out of the blooming bunch. Now, isn't that really cool? So we're gonna be making kits for this. If you can't get this book, we'll have them. They're on order. It's kind of a pre-order thing. So this is really fun fun little quilt with the bloom and much fabrics. So I had to share that with you today because it is brand, brand new. Actually not even available yet. I'll just set this down in black. Okay, very good. So St. Patrick's Day is coming up. That's the next holiday. Right around the corner, isn't it, Marsha? It is. So we have on your desk. No, I had the kid out here. Oh, I gave it to Susie <laughs> to, to put the links. So Susie has the links for the kit for this St. Patrick's Day pillow. It is just cute as a bug's ear. Um, you can do it for the machine embroidery version. Um, you can do it for the sewing version. And we have kits and fabrics just like it is here. There's also an three different things. Um, if you're doing the embroidery, you need the embroidery collection. The, well, for either one of them. Right. And the embellishment kit as well. So those are available for purchase, which is very good. And right on the curve, oh, here they are. So we don't, this is the sewing version of the pattern. And here's all the fabrics to make this. And <clears throat> the embellishment kits and the embroidery collection are on their way. So those we will have. So if you need a little bit of the green, for St. Patrick's Day. There it is. Then we want to remind you that Friday, do we have a couple of these left? Kids left? We have just a few left, so if um, you didn't get yours ordered, there's still time. This is the kitchen boa. Now you don't have to, while well, you have the fabrics and stuff in your kit to make the kitchen boa, you don't exactly have to you make it. You get the towel in the, with you the sign up and the design. You get two towels, and then, or you can just make it as a towel and put the, tr the trim you don't have to make it a bow, you can keep this fabric for something else. But what I've been seeing online now is people making kitchen boa or a kitchen towel out of that for St. Patrick's Day. Oh, how fun! With something off of the St. Patrick's Day CD. So, two birds with one stone on that one. So the fill in the blank, when you sign up, you'll get the towel and the design, and then the embellishment kit, like ours, is extra, and Kendra will cover how to create that beautiful towel ball. She will, and that is Friday at 10 o'clock. Now, even if you don't, if you're thinking about the Kimber Bell Club here at Pine Needles, um, you can watch that. It is free for everybody to watch at 10 o'clock on Friday. Um, and she's gonna be going through step-by-step -step how to make this project. She's got some door prizes for those of you that did sign up for this, the, then you're eligible for some, she does some wonderful things for drawings. She does, yes, absolutely. So if you want to check that out, you're certainly more than welcome to do that 10 o'clock um, this, this Friday morning. Yes. Now, I don't have my screen, but I do have a trivia question for today. All right. And Susie's going to have to come in and tell us who the winner is of the trivia question. But the trivia question is, there is a quilt block that is called the gem block like gem, like diamonds and emeralds and sapphires and rubies. Ooh. This gem block is also known as blank. Clue. Think of the gem state. 
All right, and if you are the first to answer, you will get a Marsha and Joy show certificate for $10. And also, how else can they get those certificates, Marsha? Like, comment, and share this post for two more. The trivia winner gets a $10 gift certificate for um, purchase in this store. And then we're giving away two more. Um, if you like, comment, and share, we use Rafflecopter, and everybody's names are thrown in there. And then three or two more lucky winners will be announced on our Sunday email. Uh, emails are coming out on Sundays now until we reopen the shop. And that is a great place for to keep up with everything that's happening at the store. We'll kind of tell you um, where, where our phones are coming on early. I will tell you that on Facebook too. Hopefully they are. Um, so you, you can watch for that on Sunday. Also, we have some really fun new things coming. I do want to tell you, March is just around the corner. The Mart Pantry bags are ready to go. So as soon as they drop into Shopify, those are going out in the mail to you. So there's not going to be this waiting, waiting, waiting. All right, and they're, they're kind of fun and, and different than the first one. And thank you so much for sharing your projects on our Pine Needles Peeps page, because we like to see your creations and we're so thrilled that you have yours done and uh, going. Oh, so okay. hey, the winner of the trivia question Alicia is... Alicia Drees. And the answer was Idaho. Yes, Idaho. Very good. Congratulations, Alyssa. I am sure you will enjoy spending that $10 in here later on. So, very good. Um, the other thing we have going on is the pantry. Oh, talked about the pantry we did the virtual retreat the virtual retreat is something that's new that is coming up um, our Eagle Bluff retreat from last fall had to be switched to spring and now again we're switching it back to fall so instead of um, just not having it again we're going to host a virtual retreat here in the new classroom of the store and you will join us from the comfort of your own home. Or if you buddy up, because you know, I noticed that some of you are buddying up. It's the right. Friends, so that's great. Right. So you can um, participate with us. It's going to be Friday evening, late, late Friday afternoon, and all day Saturday. Um, we're not going to have it on Sunday, but we are going to be doing an amazing mystery quilt. And we are going to be mailing you a package with the mystery quilt kit in it. You can cut it ahead. Joy is going to have a little video. It's going to be by a private Facebook group. Mm -hmm. So if you don't do Facebook, I'm so sorry. You cannot participate in Guess this. Guess what? They're all on Facebook now, Marcia. Well, they are. <laughs> so it's true. Good. We are good. So okay. you are all good. <laughs> so anyways, we have the choice of these kits, and we have patriotic, traditional. Uh, we have a bright. We have a classic, which is grays, blacks, and creams. And... Um, we're also going to have a batik and a tulip pink one too. So when you sign up for the virtual retreat in the comments, someplace if there's a place to put comments in, just say which kind of quilt kit you would want. But if you know you want to, um, if you can't, I don't know if they can even do that. There is a place to comment, but many of you have been just sending an email saying, hey, I want this, and right. that would be great. And, and before we finish, we'll give you a call. And if we well, rest you. assured that before we start cutting the kits and getting them ready for you, we will call you to see which one you want. So we will have kits for everybody that signs up. This is $119. Early bird sign up is only $99 if you sign what? up. Uh, only $99 for all that fun, Marsha? Exactly. By April 1st, if they sign up by okay. April 1st. Um, we're gonna, the step-by-step -step mystery is going to be great. We're also going to pack your own little snacks in there because part of the most fun of our retreats are that ginormous snack table. Yes. So we're going to send along a few snacks and some other fun little things. During the day on Saturday, we're going to have several tutorials on some really good, you can get more information on this when you click on the link on the web page to sign up of what we're going to have tutorials about. And then on Friday evening, um, we're going to have just some um, cameo links in and Gina, Susie, Joy and myself are going to give you little tours of our sewing rooms in our homes. 
So it's going to be really fun. You're going to want to join us for this virtual retreat. Um, sign up by April 1st and save yourself $20. That'll be exciting. It really will. Um, <laughs> so the question is, oh, how yes. do I pick up curbside? So we are in working in our new store. The just store next, our original store is actually locked. So if you need to do virtual, not virtual pickup, if curbside. you need to do curbside pickup, park in front of our new store on the sidewalk and uh, if you would knock or even if you just let us know via email that you're coming but honestly if you park out front here we'll try to keep an eye out you may have to get out of your car and knock on the door to let us know that you're here but if you would please just be respectful and only come into the front part of our store because we as you know are working yet and have things um, still laying it's around. It's not exactly safe. You know, there might be cords laying out and other things too. So. Right. So if you would just, if, if you're doing curbside, just if you need to come to the door and just stop and um, excuse me. So speaking of curbside, we have somebody coming in now, but we're filming live right now. So if you would just okay. be respectful for a moment, that would be great. <laughs> just can you just want to all right. Oh anyway, so here's curbside pickup. This is how it works. And if you would please avoid avoid the one o'clock time slot on Wednesdays, that would be great. But you know, Marsh and I, we always have the best fun. We really do. It's great. It's great. It's, it's, something always happens. So, so that's how that's it works. We're gonna have a brand new room. Was, that was perfect timing. It was. We're okay. in a private room. Okay. So the last thing is the auction quilt. All right. Um, and this is cute. This is so new, it was just this, this winter. Is, this is a winter quilt. It hasn't even uh, but, had a spring yet. No, it hasn't. I just saw this and it kind of made me happy. So because here, now it's above zero. It is. <laughs> and it's bright and cheerful. And guess what? She's coming with. So you're going to get the quilt and the mouse. Susie, don't cry too much. She thinks this is an ugly mouse. We think it's a cute mouse. It is very cute. So, and there's little... Um, winter mice on this quilt. And how do, they, how do they participate in the quilt auction? Um, you, this will be a post probably tomorrow morning. We'll post this quilt and it'll be right here on the page. Get rid of this. Okay. And then we will, um, you can, um, in the comments you can do your bidding. So we will, uh, Monday at one o'clock is when the bidding ends. And if you're the highest bidder, you win this quilt and this cute little mouse. Um, that's it. Now you have something it. else in your. I do your have list. something else. I do want to do a shout out to the to the people that have worked so hard to make this um, possible. Um, it's been a long journey to get here, and we're closing in on being able to open in a couple weeks. Here, I'm not going to say a date because, like the phone thing, hopefully that doesn't drag on for any longer. Than we think it is but I do want to uh, give a shout out to um, Phil Howard construction that was the general contractor for our project D&E floor coverings that did the floor coverings and all the cabinetry work in the store Benner Electric and also United Electric Bennett Keys and something really tiny you can't read. Benner Electric and um, I can't help her. Okay. Electric Accord well. Electric as well. Accord Electric, yes. And I'm sure I've um, missed some of you. And then also Colette Shugard, who has, who is the liaison here at the at our mall here at TJ Maxx Plaza. She has been so kind and helpful uh, and understanding of everything. Um, this has been a very long journey. It is opening in March, and March really does usher in spring of 2021. We are opening. It was supposed to be spring of 2020. <laughs> well, so we're just a year. So here we are, and thank you all of you for your patience and for continuing to support us. I know the store next door was packed. Um, nobody felt it more than we that worked in there every day, but you have been so kind, so generous, and so patronizing to us. And I just cannot tell you from the bottom of my heart, Susie, Joy, Gina, and the entire staff at Pine Needles Quilton, so how much we appreciate you 
and it's going to be so fun to welcome you into your new home here at Pine Needles Quilt and Sew. So for today, we're going to button this up. Yes. This is the Marsha and Joy Show here at Pine Needles Quilt and Sew in Rochester, Minnesota. We will see you in our new filming room next Wednesday at 1 o'clock to kick the second half of your week off with us again. So thank you so much. And now I'm going to make my very graceful exit to stop the quilts on top. Absolutely. <laughs>